Coach Cole Smith started at right guard the past few games. Just your thoughts on the job he's done on the right side? I think he's done a pretty good job. You know, he, he's got some uh, some experience, and we're kind of a limited experience group there. So uh, I think I, I think he's done a good job. I think uh, you know he brings some energy out there, and then uh, uh, you know our entire offensive line we need to you know finish on our run blocks. I think, but. Uh, you know, I think they're they're uh, doing some good things as far as playing together. Yeah. Zach Arnett said Colin Duncan wasn't a starter at the beginning of last year, but kind of stepped into that role mid-season. Now he's been an established starter all year. What kind of improvements have you seen from Colin since you got here? I just it just gotten better, just sort of incrementally better. I think he might have grown a little bit. He looks to me like he's a little bigger. And then I think the offseason was huge. And then I think that, um, you know, just uh, as much experience as we could get him in practice has helped him. Mike, what are your thoughts on the, on the fullback position in football? I mean, if you ever see a moment in the air raid that you'd like to have a guy like that in that hole? <laughs> um, I kind of like it, although that's what, um, I kind of like it, but that's what guards are for, you know? And then, um, uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I would want him like what I, what I would love to have, which I've, um, I've tried over the years, and I can try, I hope to find one here. Uh, you know, the true tight end guy, but you need a guy that one can catch, two can run, and uh, that you can move to a lot of positions, and he's effective, which sounds uh, an awfully lot like a defensive end, uh, which is where all my potential tight ends have gone over the years, uh, for the most part, as a defensive end. If we can get a full load of defensive end here, so I'd, I'd love to get a guy like that, but it'd be where you move him around, but not not just as some pluggy sluggy guy. I'd, I'd want him, uh, you know, to be able to run and catch the ball. And I do have an eye on a couple of guys, hopefully that uh, can maybe do something like that, because I do think it would give you a lot of versatility and stuff. But I'm not talking about, um, you know, just a. a uh, a blocker that shifts right or shifts left, and you know, I'm talking about a guy that you know you throw it to, and you're not afraid to send him downfield with the size mismatch on the strong safety, something like that. Mike, you mentioned the improvements on the offensive line. You know, a guy like Charles Cross is running a ton of a ton of NFL attention right now. I mean, what have you kind of seen from him to, to be so consistent all year and continue improving? You know, I think he's, he's got really good feet. So we put him in a position to play early to begin with. He's got really good feet, which allowed him when he was smaller to uh, center guys up and uh, square up guys. And um, and then now he's getting bigger. And then, but he's uh, he, he was able to play as a freshman. So I think that that, you know, log and reps and experience has helped him quite a lot. As speaking of tight ends, are you a uh, former quarterback at Kentucky, Matt Mummy, uses one named Cole Turner at Nevada. Have you got a chance to see that or have any opinion on the way he does that over there? Yeah, I like I like the way he does that. Uh, that's the thing. I mean, it's got to be, you know, it, it would have to be like a guy that, uh, that uh, you know, can catch the figures into the, the passing game, you know. Um, <clears throat> and then sometimes, and I've, I've done it too, where you, uh, you try to kind of force it in there, you know, pretty soon the 13 guard that can sort of catch and mess with him and, you know, and all that guy does is get, uh, you know, he gets beat up by the linebacker and he can't catch well enough to outmaneuver the strong safety and, well, and then you quickly discover why he's the 13 guard, you know, so, um, yeah.